Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is jump on the laptop on the laser cutter um, and open up Corel Draw 12. And um, hopefully you've uh, got yourself a USB and you've copied over that file uh, that I sent you, um, the horse template. So if we click on open here, um, if you've got it on the desktop where I've left it on my computer, um, you'll be able to get it from this drop down menu. Otherwise, you'll be able to select your USB from in here. Um, and you can grab the horse template, horse, hold up, file, open, horse template, and hit open. I've left some stuff in here for you, so I'll just delete this text out, draw a box around it, and hit delete. Like so, and they've got this horse here for you that I've outlined. So if you um, if you click on this guy, I'll draw a box around him. You'll see up here in the top left that you've actually got some um, some parameters here that you can change. So this silhouette's uh, 200 wide by two, uh, 250 high. So you can double click in here and actually change this around. So if I wanted to make it uh, 200, uh, hit enter, it'll change the size. Now if it starts doing something wacky, um, so say we change this to 150, and it skews it and looks all weird like this, it's because you haven't got this lock icon on here. So you need to make sure whenever you're changing sizes that you've got this guy clicked so the padlock's locked, which means it'll keep the ratios the same. So we'll just change that to 200 now that I've locked it. And that's all the right size. Um, now I'm not sure if you've got a cut, a cut setting on that laser cutter um, yet, so I might have to ring you up and give you a hand with that, but we're gonna make it red. So we go over to the right here, choose red. Um, actually, I'm going to make the outline red. So, uh, on this paint bucket here, I'm going to double click on this red down. Sorry, paint bucket off. And then I'm going to double click um, where it says hairline down here, the picture of the pen on the black. Double click on that and change him to red. Okay. And that's going to mean that when it exports it to um, the GBOS laser carve software, it'll it'll know that it's a red program, and we'll be able to change the parameters for that later on to make sure it, to make sure it cuts. Um, now to add some text, uh, this text tool here, the picture of the A, we can click here and draw a box. Any size will do. I'm going to write in horse, like so. It's very small, so I'm going to select it all. So you can. Double click on it or highlight the whole lot and change this up here to 200 or something like that. Okay, I mean you can change, this is like in Microsoft Word, you can change it to whatever font you want, something like that, um, which is good. Now the size doesn't really matter just yet because what we're actually gonna do is we're going to uh, left click on that uh, bit of text and then we're gonna right click on it and then when we right click, we're gonna hit convert to curves and that's actually gonna turn this into a shape. So we'll click back on here, and we can see now that we haven't got a text editor and we've got these nodes, it means we've actually converted it into shapes, which is what the laser cutter needs. I'm going to click up here on the little picture of the white box with the lines through it, um, and make it so it's got no fill. And then down here where it says a picture of the pen outline color, and it says none, I'm gonna double click there. And uh, first of all, the width here, I'm gonna change that to hairline and the color, I'm gonna change that to red and then hit okay. And that now should be on the same sort of um, cut pattern um, as the horse that we've got here. Now, we're not quite sure about the sizing on it. Um, so if you just, once again, draw a box around it, make sure your padlock's locked here, and then you can either give it height or width. Height's usually the best way to work with text uh, for obvious reasons. So let's say we wanna make it 100 mil high, just double click in there to change it. Type in 100, hit enter. Now what you find is, I can't remember how big your laser cutter is, but that'll be, that's 468 mil, so nearly half a metre wide. Um, it might not be the best way to cut it with using your material. So what you can do as well is if you click on the text here, left click on it, and then right click, you can do a, uh, let's try that again, right click. So left click, then right click, and you can do a break curve apart. And what that allows you to do, it means that you can select letters individually. So if you wanted to nest these up to make it a bit more efficient, you can start breaking the word apart.
like so. Move this R down here, then I can get this guy in nice and tight here. And that way you're not using up quite as much material to cut the letters out. Um, it's just a little bit more efficient. Okay, so that should pretty much get you to it. Um, and I'll, now as far as sending it out to the laser cutter, um, you will just have to draw a box around everything and then bring that laser carb up as per the, um, the old tutorial and hit output. And then we'll just have to change some settings there, which I'll hopefully do a screenshot and send you some information on the email or just um, give you a hand to set that up over the phone. Cheers.